वेलकम टू द सेज ग्रुप डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एस आई आर टी भोपाल आई एम डॉक्टर अमित आवास एंड दिस इज ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट माई क्वालिफिकेशन इन द प्रीवियस टू लेक्चर वी हैव सीन रिगार्डिंग द ड्रिलिंग मशीन एंड ऑपरेशन दैट कैन बी परफॉर्मड यूजिंग दैट ड्रिलिंग मशीन सो इन द मशीनिंग वी हैव कवर द टू टॉपिक्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर so now in this lecture we will see about the milling milling machine and uh, types of milling machine and whatever the uh, we we will cover that is completely according to the syllabus of your university examens and uh, i i will try to cover each and every aspect regarding you, your mm, university exam so let's see what uh, what is the milling machine at first introduction we should know about that so the first point is that milling machine is a mechanical device mechanical device that rotates a disc shaped milling cutter you know uh, i am just disc shaped milling cutter which uh, means a milling cutter if i am telling you that is having a disc shaped tool which contains a number of cutting edges symmetrically arranged about its axis so this will look like this you know uh, this, this is like a mill disc and here it, here these are the uh, cutting edges the, the these type of cutting edges you will found so this is uh, and this will rotate along this axis so this is uh, uh, in the uh, look look like this you know so since so many uh, cutting edges are here that's why this is also called as multi point cutting tool will be used in case of milling machine i already told you two uh, three types basically the cutting tool is one is single point cutting tool that is spct next is double point cutting tool dpct and third is mpct this is multi point cutting tool spct in spct we can take uh, turning tool boring tool these uh, facing tool these are the uh, single point cutting tool dpct uh, means drilling machine d for drilling and d for double point cutting tool so uh, from here you can remember this one uh, uh, drilling point drilling uh, tool your drill bit has two cutting edges and in multi point cutting tool milling cutter i think grinder these uh, uh, and reamer reamer also has you know uh, multi point cutting edges so these are multi point cutter so this point you should uh, remember and you should while you will write the examination so you should mention all these points okay so next point we will see and this is the work piece is generally generally held in a vise as we have seen in the lathe also and in uh, uh, we have seen that the work piece is uh, held using a vise so uh, or similar device clamped to a table that can move in three perpendicular direction so this point you you should also remember that the work piece will be held in a vise or similar device clamped to a table because that vise will be clamped to a table that's why uh, uh, the movement of a table will directly uh, what affect the movement of that work piece so this two points are very important that's why i mentioned it here and next thing this is this is the figure and you should just remember this figure and i am not uh, t- telling you that you should draw this complex figure but at least uh, what you have to draw the at first the base part the base this is column i think uh, this is common for as per the drilling also only milling cutter will be uh, replaced with the drill bit that is the difference and also there is the axis movement of axis but uh, almost the configuration configuration of entire machine is almost same see how it will look like the, the at first the base made of i think basically uh, brittle type material and especially 
I will mention the cast iron, you know, the due to damping, uh, it's a good damping property, uh, and the cast iron is the best material for the base uh, of any machine, you know, whether it is lathe machine, or drilling machine, or milling machine. And uh, on that, this uh, there is a column. There is a column, and this in in it is this is this is regarding this one. You know. Then this is a swivel turret. Swivel means this will uh, uh, like you know you can move it through an angle. You know this upper part is there. Then there is a motor. Always you you need to attach one motor on. So that this will ensure the, uh, you know, uh, complete rotation of that uh, milling cutter, you know, and this one is head, head of the milling machine, and then, and this is a spindle, a spindle, and in this spindle, you need to fix the cutter, milling cutter, okay, so this is the work table where you need to fix the workpiece using a vise. This is the saddle as we have already seen in the lift and this is cross uh, uh, cross traverse wheel. This will ensure the movement of that table and using this hand wheel we will you know set the workpiece according to the position of that milling cutter. So these are some of the basic elements although so many other elements are also there, but you know, it is not possible for you to remember each and everything. But uh, at least uh, the overall, overall, I think, how will you draw? At first the base and then column and then this is swivel turret and then there is a head and on that head there is a motor, motor and then this uh, drill machine spindle is there and then uh, here you need to fix the what uh, the milling cutter so this is all regarding that uh, how overall milling uh, machine look like so you should remember this one and then point wise i am going to discuss it here the tool is advanced along its rotation axis this point you should take care you know the tool is advanced along its rotation axis in case of drilling machine as we have seen so the while in milling cutter in milling the cutter is here you need to put a comma in milling the cutter is usually moved perpendicular to its axis so that cutter uh, uh, cutting occurs on the circumference of the cutter so this is regarding the milling and drilling machine this is basically a difference in the movement of the tool so you should just remember these things also next is uh, two types of milling you know the one is peripheral milling and another is face milling so what about what is peripheral milling the first point is in peripheral milling the cutting action occurs primarily primarily along the circumference of the cutter you know so the cross section of the milled surface ends up receiving the shape of that cutter so the, this is regarding the peripheral milling and the second point is in this case the blade of the cutter can be seen as the scooping out material from the workpiece you can see it you know that how the cutter is you know scooping out the material you can see by your neck dies so the next point is uh, the peripheral milling is well suited to the cutting of deep slots threads and gear teeth you know so you can use it for uh, these type of operation here the uh, using this figure and, and i am discussing with you that this is a peripheral type of milling operation so deep slot if you want to cut it so it is easier as compared to here you know because uh, you know the cutting edges and you can see by how the cutting is taking place but in this case you cannot see you know because the cutting is performed inside 
inside this one here. That's why you cannot see by your neck dies that how cutting action is performing. So this is this is regarding the face milling and this is regarding the peripheral milling. So you need to draw this one. Although it seems like something, you know, you know, you will feel that this is a tough figure. But, you know, if you draw three to four times, so it, it will be easier to you to draw it in the exam. So the next is face milling. How face milling? You can see here the movement. Since it is the drilling is, you know, rotating along this axis. And the movement of this one along this axis, so it is having an angle of 90 degree. So in a face milling, the cutting action takes place primarily at the end corners of the milling cutter. End corners, they are talking about this one. Okay. So the second point is face milling is used to cut a flat surface into the workpiece. So the flat surface, you can see here that this is the flat surface. Here we have cut the surface and it is a flat type of surface. So definitely it is used to, and the facing already we have seen that what, in the facing what we have done. So there we have used on, we have that facing used use there on the lathe and here we are doing it using milling machine. So that's why I always try to use this, these things that one operation can be performed using various type of machining uh, process. So this was regarding the face milling. Assignment question that you need to solve. The first question is describe a milling machine with simple sketch. As I told you main component you should just a mention and draw it using a neat sketch and second is what is the different, difference between peripheral milling and face milling these two questions you need to solve it okay so thank you for watching this video and th thank you on the behalf of the sage group and the department of mechanical engineering sirt thank you thank you for